In this video, I'm going to show you how you can enable drill throughs in your reports. In order to show more details on your summary dashboards that you create in Power BI. I'm going to go through this step by step with you so you can follow along if you want. So let's get to it. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's go through this example report that I prepared for you today. It's a very simple HR report that I used on my previous videos so if, you're, if you watch those you'll probably be familiar with this already. So this is a summary page that I created on top of our employees data set that we have uh, which gives us the number of starters and levers, the employment type splits, the regions um, and the number of starters and levers for this year. This view is great if you want to get a high level view of your data and your employees like how you know what is the makeup of your starters and levers, where the the highs and lows but you'll find some instances where you will need to show more details on these summaries like for example uh, uh, if your client, for example, wanted to know who these apprentices are and they want to get a full list and this summary doesn't really give that much detail, it only gives you the aggregate numbers, right? Now this is where the drill through feature comes in. It allows you to go from that summary view where it just gives you the aggregates and to go through into the drill down where it gives you the detailed view of these summaries so that you are able to get that lists that the summary view doesn't give you. So let me show you how you can do that. So the first thing that we'll need to do is we'll need to create a detailed view which is a new page in Power BI. So we'll We'll click the plus here to create a new page we'll name it detail and then we'll put in some employee details that we want to get so for example we just wanted to get the the names of these people that we want on the detailed view and maybe we want to add their start dates and end dates as well but you can add as many details here as you like the next thing that we'll need to do is to drag the ID field into the drill through fields. This will allow all of the visuals that are using the ID field to be able to drill through into this page. You just need to make sure that on here you select these summarized because we have the details of the ID summarized on the summary page. Let's also add a card that counts the number of employees in this page. So in this case we'll do a count, it'll give us a thousand. Now that drill through is enabled in this page, let's go back to the summary page and answer who are these apprentices that we have. So let's go to summary. And now when you right click on the employment type apprentice, you will have the option to drill through into the detail. When you click that, you'll see that this view is the same as what we did before, except that it's only filtering the apprentice employees so that will give you the 123 apprentices that we were looking for as the detailed view. Now what's really cool about this drill through feature is that because we have put the ID field onto the drill through page it means that any visuals that are using the IDs you'll be able to drill through them into this page. So let me show you how you do that. So back into the summary page we see for example the number of IDs per region. We see that we have 22 people that are working in Germany. So let's see if we can drill through that. You'll see that it's also enabled for this. And now it gives us all of the people that are working in the region of Germany. Let's try another visual on the page. Let's say, let's see how many starters there are this year. We wanted to see who these people are. When you right click on it, you'll see that you won't have the drill through uh, enabled on this one. But why? If you pay attention on the right hand side on the field view, you'll see that it's not using the ID field, but instead it's calculated through the starters measure that we have created. So what this means is that for us to be able to use the drill through feature on this measure, we'll need to add it on the details page as well. So let's go back to the details and let's add starters, the measure into our filters. So and let's add levers as well because we'll need to use that too. Let's now go back to our summary view and let's try the drill through again. So you will see that that should be enabled now. So you're able to see those starters for this year and you should be able to use the, the same feature on the levers as well. 
and that's it that's the very simple way that you can enable the drill through on your summary reports in power bi i hope this video was really helpful to you if it was let me know in the comment section box below it's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content get in touch using the social media links that i included in the description box below and thank you so much guys for watching see you again on the next one